Hi guys, welcome back to your favorite channel, Rana Singles Cafe. This is Mr. Rana. I welcome you to my new session. That's very interesting topic, of course. A new topic for you. That one is an introduction to phonetics. In this video, we will have information about meaning and definition of phonetics, branches of phonetics, speech sounds. Especially, we'll study here international phonetic alphabet. Let me talk about the meaning and definition of phonetics. You know, several words of English are from Latin and Greek words. This word phonetics comes from a Greek word phoneticos or phone. Phone means sound. We got a simple definition of phonetics. That one is phonetics is a branch of linguistic it deals with the study of sounds. Sounds means human sounds. Let us know some important definitions of phonetics. Phonetics is a segment of linguistics. It is the study of human vocal knowledge. What's the meaning of human vocal knowledge? Human vocal knowledge means human sound. It does not deal with the study of animal sounds or bird sounds. It deals with the study of human sounds. Next definition, phonetic studies the characters of speech sounds and provides the methods for their narration, classification, and imitation. Listen, the word imitation. Imitation means how we imitate the sound of others. That means it teaches how we can produce the sound, how we can narrate, how you can imitate. Let us discuss three important branches of phonetics. There articulated phonetics, auditory phonetics, and acoustic phonetics. Articulated phonetics is the oldest branch of phonetics. It investigates the way in which sounds are made. In other words, it deals with the study of the production of speech sounds. Next one is auditory phonetics. It deals with the ways in which sounds are received by the ear. Third one is acoustic phonetics. It deals with the study of the physical properties of speech sound. Now we are going to discuss the third important points in this video. That is speech sounds. I've written in bracket IPA. Listen, you know, English language has 26 alphabets, but it has 44 sounds. Those 44 sounds are the IPA symbols. You may put a question, what is IPA. IPA means International Phonetic Alphabet. It is a system of phonetics notions based primarily on the Latin alphabets. They do not look like English alphabets. Some new sounds or some new images we will have there. The IPA was established by the International Phonetic Association in 1800. 88. Let us discuss speech sounds of English language. English language has 44 speech sounds. They are of two types. They are vowels and consonants. Here I have described types of consonants according to the manner of articulation. How many sounds? 44. There are 20 vowels and 24 consonants. Right. Those vowels have been classified into two classes. They are monotongs and diphthongs. There are 12 monotongs and 8 diphthongs. Let us discuss consonants. Here I have described six types of consonants. There are plosives, nasals, lateral, fricatives, affricates, and semi-vowels. Let us discuss vowels. What do you mean by vowels? Patanjali says, Swayan Rajan Swaraha. That means, vowels are pronounced without any structure. They are their self-administrators. They are of two types, monophthongs and diphthongs. Monophthongs are 12 in numbers, and diphthongs are 18 numbers. What do you mean by monophthongs? Mono means one, single. 
tongues with sound. That means they never change their quality. They have only single sound. Next one, deep tongues. Deep tongues means di plus tongues. Di means two, tongues means sound. A deep tongue is the union of two monotongs or two pure vowels. So monotongs are called pure vowels or stable vowels. Let us have a look at the phonemes. Number one is this one. What is this? This is a long sound and it sounds like E. Number two. This one is a short sound. It sounds like E. This one is E. This one is A. Ah. This one is A ah, lung sound. It is A ah, lung sound. For example, P A R T parrot with a lung sound. Number six. This one is a short sound. We talk it as A ah, A ah, cat, but that like this. Number seven. This is A. Uh, number eight. It is a long sound. Sometimes we also write it like this. It sounds like O, oh, O. Oh. For example, W A L K. Ork. Okay. This is U. It's a long sound. It sounds like U. It is called Shua or center vowel. The sound is R like this R girl. Earth, sure, the sound is like that. Number two, this is also a central vowel. We talk F O R, fur, difference, like this. Let us think of diphthongs. A, I. Oi. How? Number five is O. Number six is air. This one is sound as air. Number seven is ear. Number eight is war. These are centering diphthongs. Okay. Uh, but in some uh, British English uh, people like, uh, sometimes they pronounce it as, yeah, R. But uh, we can pronounce it as O. These are centering diphthongs like air, ear, war. Let us discuss consonants. What do you mean by consonant? The word consonant comes from a Greek word consonant term, which means defend. That means a consonant sound cannot be produced without the help of vowels. I have classified consonants into six classes according to a manner of articulation. There are plosives, nasals, laterals, fricatives, affricates, and semivowels. Let us go through the phonemes. One, p, b, t, d, k, g. Nasals, three nasals. Mm, and um. Laterals, only one. L. Fricatives are ten in numbers. 
f f we pronounce it as f this one is v the this one is z this one is this one is this sound is rr train run like this this sound is ha then affricates only two affricates ch j there are two semi vowels ya and wo these are about consonants in my next video we will discuss details about consonants and vowels thank you for learning english with rana sir